Today we're going to be making historic donuts. Thanks for joining us today on 18th Century Cooking with James Townsend and Son. I'm joined today by Michael Dragu. You've seen him in some of the past episodes where we did Scott's eggs and some other things. Uh, where does this recipe come from, Michael? First reference in this country to donuts is from uh, Hannah Glass's um, The Art of Cookery, 1805 edition. Right, in the 1805 edition, that's the one with all the uh, the addition of the American recipes. So that's the first one where they add in uh, donuts, corn, and, corn yeah. uh, cranberries, I think, lots of, of, of interesting uh, variations of the English recipes into sort of an American right. form. Is 1805 the first time that donuts were called donuts that we know of? 1803-1805, there's a couple of cookbooks that are referring to donuts, two words. Two um, words. Yep, it's a, it's, it's a Coming from Europe, it's it's a Dutch kind of a thing, but the first time it's called donuts is, well, is in these cookbooks. There are earlier recipes that talk about nuts, uh, ginger nuts, pepper nuts. Those were baked little kind of cookie things. For a hard in, exterior, but right, a soft, yeah. Right, but it, I think because of the shape and what's going on here, that, that that's where the name probably comes from. Yep. Um, but these were made with sort of like a bread dough, so yep. they're called dough nuts instead, and cooked in hot oil, deep fat fried. Yep. So these seem to be related to the ole cooking, which is the a, a Dutch um, dish. They also are very similar to uh, English fritters. So let's get started on the res this recipe. Michael, what have we got for ingredients? It's a pretty loose recipe. We've got three and a half to four cups of flour. Right. We've got half a cup of sugar. Okay. And we've got a teaspoon of salt. Good. And we've got, um, it called for two spoonfuls of yeast. And right. at the time... They, right. Yeah. They would have used barm. Today we're using instant yeast right. in this because we can add that directly here. If you want to uh, uh, research that barm, we've got an, a video where we deal with barm specifically. We'll put a link uh, right here in the video so you can look yeah. at that. You don't want to overwork this, but it's just um, real light. And then we've got a cup to a cup and a half of uh, warmed milk. We've got a half a cup of butter. It's not very hot. Just, just we liquid. don't want to kill the yeast, right. right? We're just gonna mix that all up. And this should make a nice soft dough. Let me clear off this table and we'll get some uh, flour down so we can roll this yeah. out just very lightly. There we go. Think we're all set here. So we're not smushing this flat, we want to no. roll it out to about a half inch thick. Michael's going to cut these uh, up into squares. The holes in donuts don't come till uh, later on in the 19th century, what? Something like the 1830s uh, when holes show up in donuts. So we're just going to do a simple sort of square shapes. These need to be small enough that they'll cook all the way through and let them rise for a little bit. Couple hours, maybe even um, if you're at home, you can let these rise overnight in the refrigerator. They should be either covered with plastic or cloth uh, as they rise. So here are a few that we did last night. Your donuts may not rise a whole bunch because there's so much uh, fat in this dough uh, that they don't rise a bunch. But uh, as we put them in the hot oil, they will spring right up, puff right up. So these look great. Your hot oil should be about 350 degrees. Uh, we're using lard here. Again, you can use any sort of uh, deep frying oil that you'd like. You should fry these until they're a nice deep mahogany brown. While they're still hot, you can roll these in cinnamon sugar to finish them off. We've invited Ivy in to, to uh, give these a try with a sample of these wonderful donuts. Go ahead and pick, pick whatever your favorite one is there. Oh, I want a big one. Let's yeah, try this one. These are still warm right out of the oil. Ooh. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> Such a simple recipe. Yeah, the, the dough is so wonderful and soft uh, when we cook them and the flavor is great. The cinnamon sugar really mm. sets these off. And they're right out of Hannah Glass's 1805 cookbook. Wonderful, wonderful. There's nothing better than campfire donuts. If you're new to our channel, I want to welcome you. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking the button right up here. Uh, also check out our related videos. Thanks so much for watching.